in today's video we are going to discuss about the various symmetry elements of water molecule the various symmetry elements of water molecule are e c2 sigma v and sigma v dash when we say e we mean the identity element identity operation is the operation of doing nothing since nothing is being done there will not be any change in position of atoms and it will always remain the same next we come to the axis c2 and c2 is the only axis in water molecule and so it is a principal axis too the c2 axis in the water molecule appears like this the yellow ball here represents oxygen and the two green balls represent the hydrogen and this rod is a imaginary c2 axis the imaginary c2 axis passes through the oxygen atom it bifurcates the two oh bonds and it is in the molecular plane that is the plane which contains the oxygen atom and the two hydrogen atoms if i rotate the molecule about the c2 axis through an angle of 90 degree we get an appearance like this if i rotate it through another 90 degrees that is a total of 180 degrees we get an appearance like this this is an equivalent appearance in other words we when we started rotated the molecule through 180 degrees we get an equivalent appearance with the two hydrogen atoms interchange and if i rotate it through another 180 degree that is totaling to 360 degrees we get back the original molecule during our rotation of of 360 degrees that is we start with the water molecule turn 180 degrees and turn another 180 degrees we get the same appearance twice since we get the same appearance twice the axis is known as c2 axis now let us have a look at the same thing which i have mentioned just now that the c2 axis passes through the ox passes through the oxygen atom and bifurcates the two oh bonds it is present in the molecular plane it can be visualized like this though i have colored the two hydrogen atoms differently one as a yellow another another as a green atom both of them are identical just to distinguish between these two we have represented them in two different colors when the molecule is rotated through 180 degrees the position of the two hydrogen atoms are interchange nevertheless it is an equivalent appearance if i rotate it through another 180 degree once again the position of the two hydrogen atoms are interchange and we get the original molecule back and we see that during a complete rotation of 360 degrees the molecule is getting repeated the equivalent appearance is getting repeated two times and hence this axis is a c2 axis now let us look at the way we get a plane in the case of water molecule in the water molecule this as shown here with the original ball and stick model where the yellow atom is the oxygen atom and the two atoms are hydrogen atoms two green atoms are hydrogen atoms and here this is the plane which you are going to consider now the plane bifurcates the two oxygen hydrogen bonds and it passes through the oxygen and this is perpendicular to the molecular plane that is a plane containing the oxygen and the two hydrogen atoms and we get 
something like this the appearance is something like this the left hand side and right hand side are mirror images of each other and this plane coincides with the c2 axis which is a primary axis now if we look at this diagram we understand that the mirror plane which we have demonstrated right now cuts the oxygen atom that is bifurcates the two oxygen hydrogen atom oxygen hydrogen bonds and it is coincident with the c2 axis and so it is a sigma v plane sigma v plane is a plane containing the principal axis this now we are looking at the water molecule from a different perspective if you look at the, these two things we see a plane cutting through all the atoms present as well as hydrogen atom and we find that the plane exactly divides all the atoms into two halves the upper hemisphere of every atom is above the plane while the lower hemisphere of every atom is below the plane this can be represented like this if we take the water molecule we have and the water molecule a plane passes through all the atoms that is the two yellow atoms which are oxygen and hydrogen atoms and the green atom which is the oxygen atom and the plane cuts all the atoms into two halves and uh, this is another vertical plane of symmetry and this is another sigma v plane this plane is also coincident with the principal axis the principal axis c2 is present in this plane and so it is a vertical plane of symmetry the previous plane which was shown by me that is a sigma v plane that cuts through the oxygen atoms which bifurcates the two oh bonds can be visualized like this now we have seen something about the identity axis identity element the c2 axis the sigma v plane and sigma v dash plane the sigma v dash plane looks like this this is another way of looking at it it cuts through all the atoms and it cuts all the atoms into two halves these are the four elements present in water molecule that is e c2 sigma v and sigma v dash thank you